hydrogen is becoming a hotter and hotter topic. Do you know how hydrogen is produced? One popular method to produce hydrogen is through a steam methane reforming process. Generally speaking, there are six process modules to produce hydrogen. First, methane and steam react in the heating and reaction module. Then it is cooled to ambient temperature before sending to pressure swim adsorption or PSA module to get the pure hydrogen. The final step is to compress hydrogen to the required pressure. Along with the four main process modules, we also need to have a steam module to produce steam and a flue gas module to provide all the heat needed in the process. Methane feed is first split into two parts. The major part will be converted to hydrogen and the other part will be burned to provide all the heat needed in the process. I will first go through the four main process modules and then come back to the two utility modules. In the heating and reaction module, methane is mixed with recycled hydrogen. Then it is preheated to around 750 Fahrenheit. Because H2S is such a serious killer to the reformer catalyst, so it is removed before mixing with steam. The steam and methane mixture is further preheated before entering into the reformer. There are two main reactions in the reformer. Ethane and the heaviers are reformed in the reformer. Then methane is reformed in the main reformer. During the reforming process, a large quantity of CO is produced. So we need to have a CO shift process to convert CO into CO2 and produce more hydrogen. CO shift process favors lower temperature so the gas mixture is cooled to produce steam before entering the CO shift reactor. After the CO shift reactor, the main components in the stream are hydrogen, water vapor, and CO2. The next two modules are used to remove water and CO2. The mixture is cooled against the incoming feed before going to the cooling module. The cooling module is primarily used to remove water. At the same time, the heat is used to generate steam. The mixture gas is further cooled in steam generator coil number two, then boiler feed water preheater, then make up water preheater. Liquid water is separated out in the separator. Then the gas is further cooled to ambient temperature to further remove liquid water before going to the PSA. The PSA module is primarily used to remove contaminants to get the pure hydrogen. The final module of the four major process modules is compression. It utilizes compressor to compress hydrogen to the required product pressure. The steam module is used to produce steam. The heat for boiler feed water preheater comes from the product gas mixture. The heat for steam generator comes from steam generator coil one, two, and three. The steam is further superheated by flue gas after blowing down a small quantity of liquid water. Then part of the steam reacts in the reformer and the other part of the steam is exported. The last module of the six is the flue gas module. The fuel gas and the preheated air are burned in the fired heater to provide the heat for reformer reaction. Then it is cooled down in a series of heat exchangers. The flue gas is first used to preheat the steam methane mixture 
before entering the reformer. Then it is used to superheat steam, preheat air, generate steam, and preheat air again before vented to the atmosphere through a blower. This concludes the six modules to produce hydrogen in a steam methane reformer. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.